We are in Castlemaine, or Castlemaine, uh, depending on who you are. Uh, we have a hive in this wall, literally behind the chimney. It's not in the chimney cavity, it's in the wall cavity. So, fun, fun, fun. It's in a kitchen, so we've had to put up the drop sheets to limit the bees going into other rooms. There we go. Well, let's get the suit on and open the hive and see what we've got. Okay, so there's a nice, nice floral pattern underneath the layer of paint. <laughs> it's not asbestos, even though it looks like it. It's um, a cheap masonite lining thingy. Uh, not masonite, it's that other stuff that I can never remember what it's called, but anyway. So we will now just cut with a circular saw and expose what we've got. And here is the exposed hive. Now I've got a bit of a concern in that there's gaps, so fingers crossed we find Queen pretty quick because otherwise she can run into one of the gaps and I'll have to cut more just to get to her. I don't want that. Okay, more and more bees building up on the window. It's a very humid day, so we've got steam happening. Here we have the Queen. In the queen clip, I've left my marking equipment in the ute so uh, she won't get a pink dot on her until quarantine, but that's all good. Almost finished the first layer, and we've got two and a half frames of brood so far. So, we're it's a really good that we've already got the queen, gets much easier from here, oh, and it's all gone all blurry, it's all good. Okay, I am a little tired. I finished work at 5.30 a.m. this morning, but thankfully this is a nice easy relocation. Uh, this part of the cone is just unused. There's no brood in it. A little bit of nectar but, and a little bit of honey, but no brood. So that means I can now start up the bee back and start backing up these girls into a, into the hive box. Yay. Okay, so bees are all in the box, running around, they've been bee backed. Uh, window is now clear of bees. Up there is now clear of bees. There might, oh, okay, there's one there running around, but I waited five minutes and didn't see any bees, so that's the first one I've seen in ten minutes now. But then I blocked up up there as well, just so that I can start filling the cavity. But there's a lot of gaps and not enough old clothing, so I'll do the best I can. Headaches. So that's what I've been able to fill up so far. The homeowner will finish that off. Uh, I had to cut that side because a good thousand bees had run into that cavity, so to expose it and get them out because didn't want them coming into the house but on the whole we're done <laughs>